my name is Caitlin and welcome back to Cage Straight Up. Today I am going to show you a very simple and easy way to pan sear halibut on your stovetop. It is a recipe that is super easy, it doesn't have too many ingredients, and it honestly delivers a completely delicious halibut. Now, there are so many ways that we could cook halibut, and if you want to see another way, go ahead and request it below this video. But this is a really easy kind of go-to way that you're going to love for a weeknight dinner. So we have two nice pieces of halibut here that I got from the food store or your fish market, wherever you can get it. And we're just gonna add some sea salt and pepper. So just give a nice sprinkle over top of the fish of each to your taste. I don't love a lot of salt and I also am using regular old black pepper. You can use white cracked pepper if you want, if you don't want the pepper to stand out on the fish like that. I personally don't mind it. After that, this is a little bit funny, but we're gonna go ahead and add the halibut to a regular one gallon old Ziploc bag because we're gonna allow it to sit in our fridge with some of our other ingredients for about a half hour to an hour so it kind of soaks it all up and the flavor gets into it. So you're just gonna take your nice big halibut pieces and toss them into your plastic bag. You don't gotta be super pretty or anything like that. Just get them in there. And then we're gonna add our other ingredients. We're gonna take some nice extra virgin olive oil and put in a couple drizzles, maybe about two tablespoons or so. And then we're gonna add some really, really nicely finely minced garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, you could also just use some garlic powder or you could skip this all together. I know this looks funny guys, but I'm telling you, it's awesome. Last step, we're squeezing the juice of two lemons into a container that we could then pour into our plastic bag. You might be able to cheat and get it right into your plastic bag on its own, but I like to kind of pour it into something that I could easily just slide in there because we need a decent amount of lemon juice. So after you got your lemon juice, just go ahead and pour it into your bag and then we're gonna zip this sucker up. The best way to do it is to lay it down flat and fold your Ziploc bag over so that there's no air left in it. Once you got it all nice and secure, it goes into your fridge for a half hour minimum and it could go in there up into an hour. After you've allowed your halibut some time in the fridge, you could go ahead and get ready to pan sear it stovetop. I have an awesome Zalencio cast iron skillet that I like to use that's available on Amazon and it's fantastic. Pour in a little bit of olive oil, make sure that it gets hot, and we are going to sear it on each side for about three minutes. So go ahead and drop in your halibut, three minutes on one side, flip it over, and three minutes on the other. You can go ahead and brush some of your marinade, that nice lemon juice and garlic and salt and pepper, onto it as it's cooking, or pour a little bit into your skillet. If you really want to, you could even throw in some a tiny drop of white wine, and it will be fantastic. But all this fish needs, unless it's super thick, is about three to four minutes on each side, and then it's ready. So after about three to four minutes on each side of a nice hot pan, you have a delicious pan seared halibut that I'm telling you is absolute perfection. It looks nice and simple. I like to garnish it with a little bit of greens just to kind of give it a pop. And it goes great with a delicious Sauvignon Blanc. Subscribe to Keith Straight Up for more fun recipes like this every Tuesday and sometimes on Thursdays and Sundays in between. If you have any questions about this simple and easy weekday, fun, awesome, pan-seared halibut, make sure to comment below or tweet at me at Cage Straight Up. And other than that, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. If you want to see halibut cooked a different way, make sure to comment as well, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.